I've never gotten one with a quality control pass on it. It says the name of the car and who inspected it, and it even gives their address. It's kind of crazy. Hello. Um, today we have some very cool cars to look at, um, and uh, we're going to start right now with this Shuko uh, from a series called European Classics, and it is the Porsche 918 Spider in silver and the martini livery. Um, it's got some really nice interior detailing. Um, some of it's a little blank, like the dash there, but that steering wheel looks great. And uh, the livery is, well, it's classic and, and, and beautiful. The headlights and headlights, the um, side view mirrors are really nicely molded. Just very, very nicely done. 23 on the sides, the wheels are great. Uh, let's see, um, actually, before we see how it rolls, it says Porsche, and I think it says, even under magnification, it's hard to read, 918 Spider. yeah, it does. Um, the taillights are nice, you know, they're, they're nothing special, but they're, they're nice. I do like these wheels a lot, and um, the treads are nicely detailed. It says 164. I'm not sure about Shuko. Um, I'm not unsure for any particular reason. The headlights are nice. They're a little bit wonky under magnification, but to the naked eye, um, they look perfect. Uh, and I've said that before about cars, but uh, with Shuko, I really don't like giving them the benefit of the doubt because I've had some really bad luck with them, and uh, they really do look perfect to the naked eye, so I, I, I can't take that from them. This scoop on the side is great. The, the vent. This is just, just a very cool car. Um, yeah, a very cool car. Very well done by Shuko. Up next, we have a Matchbox moving part car, the Subaru Brat, um, which is a car I was not familiar with. I mean, it's like a ute. It's got backwards facing seats, which is awesome. Um, so you can, you know, Relive Jurassic Park if you like. Uh, the paint on this though is amazing. I love this black and then the the orange and the red. It's so it's so seventies and great. I could do with nicer headlights. You know the silver for the headlights is not ideal to me, but it says Brat there. That's kind of cool. No paint on the back, but. A nicely molded uh, door handle that does give it a sense of depth and realism. And here's the moving part, and uh, look at this engine. That engine is so nice, so nicely detailed and painted. Um, I mean, compared to any of the round two cars that are, are the ones that I mostly deal with in terms of seeing engines underneath or green light compared to any of that, which are basically just a separate plastic block, like orange or blue, you know, with the radiator and uh, the air filter. This is, I don't know, thoughtful and, and careful. Um, that makes the car, I think. Um, I don't know if it makes the car. This is already a really cool truck. Subaru Brat from Matchbox Moving Parts. 1978 Subaru Brat. That is very cool. Um, so this next car, this next car is from a company that I'd never heard of, but I decided to take a chance on, called LCD Models. 
And the first thing I noticed when I opened the box was this. It has a quality control information card. It tells you who inspected it, when, um, who the manufacturing company is, their address. Uh, it's, and then uh, the same in uh, Chinese. I think that's Chinese. Um, very cool, very cool. Yeah, how come you're not doing this green light? Give us your address. Uh, so this is the Land Rover Defender 90. And uh, just wow. The level of detail on this, on this car. There's a mirror here, or not a mirror, a window in this little top part. Um, mirrored side views. These, the, just, just look at the detail in the back. The mud flaps have Land Rover on them. This badging. And, oh, just the, the front grill is amazing. It's amazing. The, uh, the lights, it's got these tiny little lights around it. Um, the windshield wipers are the most like windshield wipers, like realistic ones that I've, I think I've ever seen on a model. The interior, I guess you can't really see too much of the interior, but uh, it's got detailed seats two color seats at least. It's got a detailed dash. But um, the kick, I mean, it's, it's got these mud flaps. It's got, it's got quite a lot going on. And it's got, it's got the drive shafts. It's got It's got suspension, but it's like individual wheel suspension, uh, which is really cool, but it doesn't seem to want to work on two wheels at once. <laughs> okay. Um, it's got all the information on it. This is just, wow. I think that this company, oh, let me see if it rolls. No, not at all. It does not roll at all. That's a disappointment. Um, I think that this company, LCD Models, I think because I went and looked at their website and they had a lot of different colors of the same vehicle, a very small selection of vehicles. So a lot of Land Rovers. Um, I think that they're a company that makes these super detailed models for, for car companies. So when you buy the car, you get this like, this, this little, thing to put on your desk to remind you of your brand new car. Um, but they're so precise and so well done. I mean, I guess that's the impression you want to give your customer. Anyway, I am, um, I'm definitely going to be seeking out more from LCD models. Just wow. Okay. Tomica Premium, Ferrari F40. I mean, this is just, this is just gorgeous. The headlights, the color, the color just is, it's perfect. The wheels are nice. For a toy level um, depiction of this car, uh, with a moving part, 
and also a really nice engine. Not not as detailed as the uh, the Matchbox, but um, really well molded. Certainly a step up from uh, you know Green Lighter Round Two, but uh, the lights are amazing on the front and the back. The molding is, it's just perfect. Like there's there's no flaws. There's no flaws in this car. It's got suspension. Rolls nicely, a little loud because it's got plastic wheels. But uh, the suspension's a little bit clicky because of the plastic wheels. But, uh, and it's 162. So maybe if there's a flaw, it's that it's not 164, but I actually have this car. I'm going to move the camera. I have this car in, where is it? In this super awesome dark blue color. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad to get it in red. Um, it's funny. It's really funny that uh, even with toy cars, Getting the like the red one was almost fifty percent more expensive than getting the blue one. I guess it's supply and demand. That that is an amazing car. I really like that car. It's very cool. Okay. Plymouth Firebird Formula. I believe is what this is called, from Johnny Lightning. Pontiac, Pontiac Firebird, that's right. I'm not dumb. There are no dumb people, just Joey. Oh, the frame of the car is sticking up in the window. That's nice. This is a really nice copper color. Paint issues on the wheels that the chrome hubcaps are reflecting me recording, which is really cool. <laughs> they're very, they're very chromed. Oh, the front end is cool. It looks, it looks like a robot face. The grill is cool and split. The headlights are done nice. It's got these uh, vents or I don't know car words. I can't be expected to know every car word. I don't even have my license. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, see, this is what I mean by like a round two engine. First of all, you never get to actually see it because their their hoods never open all the way. And then it's you know a block with uh, I said it before and I forget it. Air purifier or air something on top of it. Um, and maybe a hose or something going to the radiator in the front. That's it. Which is fine. I mean, you know, it's still cool. And uh, this is, you know, a little bit detailed. It's all cast into it. No separate parts. But um, with Journey Lightning, that's kind of a good thing. I was saying... I was saying to someone recently that uh, with Johnny Lightning in particular, like there's Auto World, and Auto World's trying new things and, you know, doing some JDM stuff, and, uh, and Johnny Lightning does different things as well. Um, they do their Street Freak stuff. But with their cars, like they're just like, you know, their muscle cars and stuff. I don't know. I just feel like I'm getting the same car over and over. It doesn't matter what car it is. It's just, quality control aside, it's just samey. It's just, even when it's perfect, I, I have trouble getting excited about them now. I, I do love the Destruction Derby, Demolition Derby ones though. So that's a, who cares? And the last one is from the new Hot Wheels um, Car Culture Premium Set, the Otto Strauss, and it is the E46 M3. Uh, and look at these wheels. 
They're great. For Hot Wheels wheels? Amazing. Just so nice looking. And they suit the car really well. This color really pops. The molding is good, the door handle. And then, um, once again, they do this kind of headlight, um, almost impressionistic, just brush stroke, not brush strokes, but like uh, colors bleeding into each other, even though it's black and white, that creates the sense of giving off light, even though they're just, you know, solid objects, obviously. Or just a, a still image. Um, and they're getting good at that. Uh, the previous one we looked at had that, and they, they did it really well as well. Um, I love the grill. I love the badging. Yeah, that, that vent. It's even got uh, arrow down here, which is, I think, very cool. And, uh, yeah, the backlights are great. The M3 badging, the BMW badging, and then the license plate. Everything about this car is, is perfect. This set, Otto Strauss by uh, Hot Wheels, is is wow. It's I have two more to open, um, but the three that I've opened have been S tier Hot Wheels, like better than the RLCs that I have. You know, better than uh, better than any other premiums that I've got. Just amazing. The only premium that come that is that is as good in my mind is from the Deutschland design set, and it's the um, the Mercedes van thing, which I just loved. I thought that was amazing. I should get that out for the next video. Um, yeah, E46 M3, amazing. Hot Wheels, killing it. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing these cars.